Today we're going to be draining this pool about 75%. The CYA or assigned uric acid level is about 130 parts per million, which is making it very difficult to keep this pool sanitary and clear of algae. Usually once we start to see CYA levels of about 100, that's when we really start to have problems. Uh, anything above 50 is where the chlorine demand tends to go up and we need to start adding more chlorine. So usually about 100 is where we say, okay, we really need to probably take some water out of this pool. This is gonna be our two inch submersible pump that we use to take the water out. And connected to that will be our two inch PVC hoses. We got these at Harbor Freight. Blue ones are the 50 footers and red ones I believe are 25 foot. Um, really we should get some 10 footers as well. That would make things better. These, this is going to be a PVC um, uh, piece that we use to drain directly into the sewer line. It's just going to create a more secure connection to that sewer line so we don't have to worry about the hose popping out and then some extension cords. Typically, we like to brush the pool whenever we're going to do a drain uh, just because we want to make sure that any dirt or algae that's on the walls can get settled to the bottom so we can pump as much of that out as possible. Uh, we'll just make it easier to balance the water at the end too and get the pool clear right away. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look for the sewer line now. The sewer line at this particular house is in the driveway, which they tend to be in the driveway in our area. Another place that we see them a lot is going to be close to the front door, nearest to a window near the front door. So that would probably be where you want to look next if you don't see one in your driveway. But every house is going to be different. The next step is going to be to power your equipment off. Obviously, we don't want any equipment coming on when the water is not in the pool, and we don't want anybody to accidentally turn it on. So usually the breaker is just going to be the best bet to get that equipment powered off to make sure it stays off. The next thing after powering the equipment down is you're going to look to see if your pool has an autofill. You probably know if your pool does have an autofill or not, uh, but um, uh, you just want to you just want to double check it. So this one does have an autofill, so we want to make sure that that autofill is off. Obviously, we don't want to add water while we're taking the water out. Uh, this sideway picture here, sorry about the video, is going to be the anti-siphon fill valve. This is going to have a gate valve on top that you're just going to turn to the right to cut the uh, the supply line to the autofill. This is typically located uh, right along the edge of the house. Sometimes we'll see them at equipment pads, but if you have one, a lot of times they are right around the, uh, the edge of the house, pretty close to the pool. This is going to be our electrical outlet where we first try to test our pump to make sure our pump is working. I usually just like to test the pump before I drop it in. I want to make sure that the pump is working. And um, so here we go, quick little test. And sure enough, on this one, it is not working. So that outlet is not hot. So I'm glad that we did a quick test on this. We're going to find a different outlet that does work. And that would be this one. And a moment of truth. And we can hear the pump running. So we know that the pump is working. And we're going to go ahead now and get to dropping the pump. So this is the two inch line getting connected to the pump. Uh, hard to do this with one hand, but I'm doing my best. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect this up. Going to get ready to drop it into the deep end of the pool and then uh, start connecting the other end to the other PVC hoses. Okay, so it's all secure. Looks good and we're all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this pump down into the deep end. And of course the deep end is the best spot to drop the pump, uh, especially if you're obviously doing a full drain, that's where you have to drop it. And I'm gonna adjust this pump out once I get it down uh, closer to the drains themselves. So, so yeah, we're all good to go. So pump is on a nice flat surface. Um, you typically want to make sure it's it's somewhere flat. Usually right around the drain is going to be the flattest spot on the bottom of the pool to make sure it doesn't tip over. Now I'm going to connect my PVC hoses. You can see here, it's hard to do with the camera, but I just connected those hoses and now we're ready to put our PVC fitting on. Oh, and what's the problem here? Yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, I shouldn't have put a male threaded end on there. I should have put a female threaded end on there. So we're going to have issues with this. I do have a threaded uh, coupler uh, that I can just glue on really quick to the opposite side and that will hopefully solve the problem. So here's the coupler. I'm just going to glue that on and then that should connect right up to our hoses and do the exact thing that we needed to. And the coupler is on now, so we're going to go ahead and connect up our two-inch hose to that coupler. 
and now we're back on track. So we're going to now put that piece in nice and secure, which is great. And the hoses are all set up and connected. Let's give it another brush to uh, get some more of that algae down towards the bottom of the pool and towards the pump so that when that pump fires up, it starts taking uh, the dirty algae water out. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug my pump in. And should be pumping now. And it is. Hoses are primed up. And I'm just double checking for leaks, make sure there's nothing real crazy in terms of water coming out. Uh, a lot of times those connections will leak just a little bit like that, really not a big deal. So some kinks there, we might take a little bit out and everything looks good. Um, the new fitting that we have inside the sewer line is holding up really, really well. And this pool is pretty much ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and take off for about four or five hours and then we'll come back and see how it's doing. Okay, we just walked back up. Uh, it's been about four and a half hours since we dropped the pump and turned it on. Uh, now we're gonna go back and see how the pool is looking. Should be down pretty far, pretty close to where we need it to be. That pump works really, really well, so. And it is, we're pretty much just about where we need to be. Uh, we got about 70, 75% of the water out. Uh, while we're here, we're just gonna give it one little final brush towards the drain to get some of that really dirty uh, water out of the pump, uh, just kind of a last ditch effort to get as much junk out of there as possible. And we're pretty much at our desired place where we want to be. Um, uh, this should be just about right. And we're going to go ahead and pull the pump out and we're going to go ahead and take our line out of the sewer. And what I did do here is I put a, one of the 25 foot red lines on the pump and I put the pump back in. What I wanted to do is just circulate the water because there was a little bit more green in there than I wanted to be left. And even though we don't have a filter, just the water moving and circulating these chemicals will be very helpful. I'm just putting in a gallon of chlorine here. And uh, yeah, having that extra movement and circulation should really help with killing uh, whatever algae's in there. And I am also gonna add some phosphate remover. I know that this pool and it typically gets a lot of phosphates in the water, so I'm just gonna add some of this before uh, I take off. Okay, so now we're ready to uh, fill this up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn the autofill back on. So that's gonna uh, start feeding the autofill line. We're gonna take the hose, throw the hose in the water. So now we're putting water in both through the autofill as well as through the hose. So hopefully that'll get our water level up as soon as possible. Perfect, and then we have our water circulating. You can see I'm pulling it from the deep end, returning it to the shallow end, keeping the water moving. And that should really help with when the water does get up, I'm making sure that it's pretty clear. I'm also going to leave a half gallon of chlorine at the equipment for the customer to put in when the sun goes down. That should also help. This is us coming back after the customer has stopped the fill water, which is about two inches above the bottom of the skimmer line, which is perfect. Pool looks a little hazy, but generally looks pretty good. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up, pull the pump out, and we're going to now power the equipment back on. Perfect, so now our equipment is back on. We're circulating the water. Uh, final step I'm gonna do, just because I know we got a long hot weekend ahead of us, is I'm gonna throw some cow hypo shock into the pool just to make sure that this pool is okay for the weekend and that it doesn't turn green because there's still a little bit of algae in there. And I like to broadcast this uh, across the pool and that's pretty much it. We have drained the pool, brought it back up and we're all done. Thanks for watching.